Hello and welcome. I'm Cuddly J, and today I will be giving you a guide on getting loot back to your storage base. All right. So this is a simple guide on increasing your chances of returning to the base with all of your loot. <laughs> so it's not a hundred percent guaranteed you will get back, but this will increase your chances greatly. So what I've done is I've done like five tips on this. So, um, yeah, five tips and tricks. Let's get straight into it, all right? Ah, ah. All right, let's say you've been farming and are returning to the base. One of the best ways to return to your base is to find a squad to go back with or another player or two, all right? You can always join a squad, you know, go into global chat there, your faction, and ask around. They invite you to the squad, and then you join and go back with them. But uh, in this footage I'm showing you right now, I found a squad that was returning to the bar, so I just joined the formation, so we could all get back to the base easily. Usually when large groups like this are seen, no one attacks them, or if they do, they get outnumbered and killed. So basically increase your odds of getting back alive and with your loot, and it's very easy, because you have numbers on your side. Alright, so in this footage on screen at the moment, I was returning to the bar with some loot that I really needed to get back to my storage. I saw a bandit player, alright, and I decided not to engage in combat, even though I had the drop on the bandit. I then went the same way as this player to the bar and spawned in using my invulnerability. The player saw me and he began to shoot me, alright. I could have risked it, used my invulnerability to my advantage to kill this player, but my main objective was to get this loot back to base, so what I did was turn around and decide to go through another area instead. I did this, and guess what? I made it back to home base. <laughs> Basically, you'll need to figure out if PvP is what needs to be done to succeed, or retreating and using other methods of getting back to base. Don't get me wrong, playing like this all the time is boring, um, but it will increase, you know, your chances of getting your loot back to base. And as you grow as a player, you'll be able to make these decisions in like a split second like I just did. I figured out, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go this way. I'll, it's basically going to increase my chances largely instead of risking all this loot and possibly dying to this player. Because I don't know what gun he has. I have an MP5 at the moment, so I'm not sure if I can outgun him, you know, out damage him. So overall... It was the safest way to do it, and I made it back. Now, in this footage I'm showing you, I get killed in the warehouse while farming dope stone. I had a lot of dope stone on me. I think it was like 154. And so, basically, I respawned at the bar, I resupplied, and then I quickly ran back to my location. I saw my bag, but I knew. I knew it would be mostly looted. So I had to look, and I was correct. I decided to return to farming dope stone, so I searched for more bandit camps, cleared one out, and then I was walking around the middle of the warehouse area, and I turned my night vision on, and saw a lost backpack. So I picked this up, and luckily it turned out to be mine. So this is something you should never do. Never give up on getting your backpack. Sometimes players will legit just drop them like this on the floor. Could be because they're too heavy. Could be they just don't really care about it. So they just throw it away on the ground. So always check where you die. Just look around on the ground. Sometimes you might get lucky like myself. Another way is you might see another player, kill them, and sometimes you'll just get lucky and they'll have your backpack on them. Another time is another player will kill them of the same faction, and then they find your backpack and they send it back to you in the mail. Sometimes, you know, the other um, faction do send the backpacks back, but uh, a lot of the time they don't. They put it up on auction or they just get rid of it pretty much. Or they keep it, like I do in my storage. Ah, ah. The explain is stashes, alright? So I can make a guide on stashes if you wish, but using stashes to your advantage can greatly increase the odds of you getting items back. Uh, you place your stash down, and then you put items in this stash for safekeeping. If you die, you return to the stash at a later date, you can loot it whenever. It lasts 48 hours, if no one finds it, your stash, you know, uh, the loot will still be in it for 48 hours. Using these will help you out big time. It'll increase the odds of you keeping loot that you would have lost if you had died. And also, you can place three of them in each area of the map. My next big tip is keep an eye on your faction chat. They can give you valuable information 
and keep an eye on your map to try survive more easily. If you're returning to base and you see someone just died on the path you're taking, then maybe wait it out until you have backup or until you think the other enemy player or players have moved on. Sometimes in chat they'll say, oh I just died, there was one player, that was it. You could just go there, kill the player, and then move on. But sometimes you'll see in chat it'll say something like, oh I just got killed by a group of bandits, watch out. So people like to give out warnings, help each other out. So just keep an eye on chat and it will increase your survivability. Overall, I hope these tips will help you survive and get back to base with more loot. If any of these tips helped you at all, let me know and leave a like, alright? If you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow, and I honestly really appreciate all of the support recently from all of you. I'll see you in another video, and of course, I'll see you in the Stylecraft world. Ah, ah, bye!